Tesla is leading the world in creating embodied AI. And what does it mean? It means that Tesla is developing the machines that are intelligent and can change everything. We know about transportation, we know about human labor, and we know about a lot of other things. So Tesla is leading the way in autonomy and creating robo taxis and replacing all cars with an autonomous transport infrastructure of electric vehicles that drive themselves and bring down costs per mile dramatically and make it unnecessary to own a car and can roll out hundreds of millions of these things very, very soon. They also are the leader in humanoid robots with the Optimus program aiming at a million robots by 2030. And so far, it was very hard to spot any competition for Tesla that we can take seriously. Because either these are new robotic startups like Figure AI or old OEMs or Chinese EV companies that are just not up to par with what Tesla is doing. But today, we're going to look at a new company that is actually becoming, in my opinion, Tesla's central competitor. And they are much smaller still. And I'm not saying they have a great chance in becoming a real problem for Tesla in Europe or the United States, because there will be certain modes in place where Europe and the United States will not be very friendly towards armies of millions of Chinese humanoid robots in the US or in the Western Hemisphere at large. They will also not be very friendly to have autonomous transport infrastructure in their own countries with Chinese technology for national security reasons. So I think Tesla has a, not just a tech advantage and a scale advantage and a money advantage, they also have regional modes that have to do with security. But the world is a large place. China is a large place. Russia is large. India is large. Southeast Asia is large. Africa is large. South America is large. So there is contested space. And there's always place for a number two. And I think Xpeng, the company we are discussing today, has a bunch of very interesting things going on. And if you're a big Tesla fan, like I am, I think it's important not to be mad and too protective of Tesla. We have to keep our eyes open. I'm very sure Elon is going to win this. But don't discount competition and always be gracious when people do smart things. We talk badly about Waymo, the very dumb program they're running. We are talking badly about Volkswagen, Toyota and all these guys and Ford and GM who mess it up all day long. So it's important to actually recognize when someone is doing something right. And I really like what Xpeng is doing. It's a very smart CEO and the structure of this company, very fascinating. So let's look into it and I will explain what I mean. And don't see this as like a threat to Tesla or anything. We just observe it with high interest. First of all, shout out to the Electric Viking, amazing EV channel. I stole this little screenshot from an Electric Viking video and it just, just shows you in Q3 2025, they just reported we saw a 100% increase year over year in revenue. Pretty impressive. So Xpeng is on a expansion spree unrivaled in China on a pretty you know, significant base, 20 billion RMB. So I think it's roughly about one point something billion dollars. So much smaller than Tesla, of course, but not tiny. So they're growing like crazy. They have amazing cars. Let's look at the financials <clears throat> very quickly, just to get a hang of roughly what we are talking about. So they delivered 116,000 vehicles. Tesla delivered 500,000 vehicles. Uh, their vehicles, by the way, Xpeng, they're pretty expensive, right? So they're not tiny little crappy Chinese cars. They're actually very significant cars. Maybe not as advanced as the Model Y, but they're very, very advanced. And uh, 690 stores, total revenues, 2.86 billion. So, oh, pretty significant, 2.86 billion in revenues. And Tesla, I don't know what the latest is with Tesla, but they have over 100 billion revenues with 25 billion. So a tenth of Tesla, roughly. Uh, the revenues from vehicle sales, and you can, you know, they have basically 20% uh, of Tesla sales, 10% of revenues. So the average selling price, roughly half of a Model Y. And... 2.5 billion of the 2.8 billion are vehicles. So 300 million non-vehicles. And we will get into the other products they have because that is what's really interesting about Xpeng. I'm not talking about Xpeng because it's a cool EV company. No one cares about EVs anymore. This is about autonomy, robots, and a little surprise I've in there that I think is becoming important for Tesla too. So what is Xpeng? Xpeng is an interesting company. Here is the website. You know, this is how it looks like. Xpeng website. 
they have these very cool cars. This is their little SUV or their big SUV. This is their midsize SUV. And this is their kind of Model S type. They also have this van. They look very cool, these cars. You can actually rotate them. See, this is how they look like. The very futuristic cars, very high tech, very cool. Here is the G9, just to get the cars out of the way. So that's a big SUV. This is the Model Y competitor. Of course, they're highly priced competitive and they have all these cool stuff in there. So this is happening, right? They have smart. OS, they have actually one of the most advanced self-driving technologies in China, X-Pilot Assist, way not as advanced as Tesla FSD, of course, but the best, one of the best solutions that China has right now. And that is the EV business of them. But why is it so interesting what they're doing? <clears throat> well, it is so interesting because what they just presented and guess what that is? Look here. This is exactly humanoid robot called Iron. Look at this robot. These when are real robots. Stage, the posture and balance looked familiar in a way that caught people off guard. That lifelike motion is not a trick. Iron is built around a spine like core with bionic muscle groups, layered synthetic skin, and careful human proportions that make presence and interaction feel natural. The hands are the highlight. Each hand carries 22 degrees of freedom powered by tiny harmonic joints that still fit inside a human-sized palm. Across the body, iron totals 82 degrees of... I mean, look at this stuff. You have to appreciate it. I know we are Tesla fans. I know Optimus is a huge program, but this thing is very impressive. This is not a small little crappy startup. This is not some crappy mini Chinese robot startup. This is a multi-billion dollar company that is betting on three central verticals. One is EV, the second is human or robot. We will talk about the third and the second, but this is very cool stuff. I would not underestimate that. Also look how, how professional and, and awesome they executed this thing with all the skin layers and everything. That thing looks shockingly perfect. Open panels around the torso to display the structure while iron stood calmly. A conspiracy theory turned into a defining proof Xpeng's deployment plan puts iron where people will actually need it. Early roles are human-facing work such as reception, retail assistance, concierge tasks, light security, and guided tours in museums or showrooms. Mass production preparations are planned to begin around April of 2026, with large-scale manufacturing targeted by the end of that year, and an open software development kit will let partners teach iron new jobs. The competitive echoes were immediate. Elon Musk acknowledged iron and suggested that Tesla and Chinese companies could lead the humanoid market, while many competitors in the West fall behind. Coming we also have to recognize that Elon repeatedly said, we need to take the Chinese seriously. They're the most advanced in manufacturing and robotics and all these things. So Elon understands this. Elon is in China. He observed that and he has shown his respect. And you know how Elon talks about people he doesn't respect. So I think it's very important to recognize in China, serious things are going on, but this is not enough to just say China is great. We need to drill down who exactly in China is great. And Xpeng is my pick, my official pick. Xpeng is the number one competitor for Tesla. Embodied AI. From the person behind office. Physical AI. That is both respect and a challenge. Look at this thing. If iron Easy. is the opening move, Xpeng will compete through lifelike motion strong safety choices, and a service's first strategy. Beneath the synthetic skin and social ready face is a straightforward philosophy. Build the body well, power it safely, give it practical jobs, and let developers add more. So there you have it. That is the second piece of Xpeng, a very cool car business. Not yet profitable, but this close to profitability, they're nearly break even. They're making roughly 10 billion a year dollars, very serious business, scalable. And I also want to show you quickly the CEO, Smart Cookie. He is founder, his background, very interesting. He's not one of these business dudes who doesn't know anything, but he was the president of Alibaba Mobile Business Group, chairman of Alibaba Games. So he's a big Alibaba guy. Uh, he co-founded UC Web, a Chinese mobile internet company, provides mobile internet software technology and services. 
he received his bachelor degree in computer science. He's a computer science uh, guy, South China University of Technology in July, and senior economist, technology entrepreneur and business administration on top of it later. Uh, and, you know, very interesting guy. He's very intelligent. And now I want to come to the third vertical of Xpeng, where Xpeng is actually the world leader. The third vertical. And what is that? Guess what that is. Guess what we have here? Flying cars. That's exactly what's happening here. Xpeng has these flying cars and it's pretty impressive. Look at this thing. So they are building them already. This is a prototype, but they're being deployed in Dubai. And it's a very, very interesting thing. One of the reasons why I think Tesla will experience enforcing function has to act on this. And I think they already do, by the way. The roads that will be flying, and this is not just a toy. They are getting serious about flying cars because they have to, because x -Pank otherwise is going to grab that market, and that market can be much, much bigger than people think. In the distance, it's important to understand which side the green is on to be able to avoid collision, right? It'll let other flyers know which direction you're flying in. Now that cars are flying, they also have to care about like, the underside of it, right? Because it's going to be flying over your head. You know, right now, cars, like, they make the... So this is super interesting what's happening here. That is why I think x is one of the most interesting companies and the main competitor for Tesla. It is super interesting. And do we have here? No, we just have that little profile of this guy. And that is my take on it. I think x will be the main competitor for Tesla. It's a very cool company and we will see what happens next. They even developed this flying car, which is literally a car that can drive and fly. That is very, very cool. They are keep pushing the envelope on their core products here. And of course, maybe the most important and exciting thing right now is the iron robot that we will keep a very, very close eye on. I just wanted to share this with you. This is what I'm thinking. It's good to have benchmarks and it's good to have companies who are not just running after Tesla and trying to copy, but also push ahead. I love that Xpeng is actually doing the flying car business more aggressively and faster than Tesla. Let's see what Tesla does next. By the way, next year, Roadster demo, be prepared. I had a video on it. I explained it, but very interesting what they're doing. And at least from the outside, the Iron Robot looks very, very impressive. The most impressive natural walk I have seen of any robot. So let's keep an eye on them. I'm sure Elon has many eyes on them. And it's going to be fun to see these companies emerging and actually competing with Tesla. I hope that was interesting. See you very soon.